Okay, great. So uh, hi, everybody. Just to get started, I think we've got uh, a good enough quorum just to get going. Uh, I'm Mark Lavi. I'm from Casted by Veeam. And uh, Andrew, the community organizer for Cubevert, asked me to run the meeting today uh, just because I didn't mess it up too badly the one other time I had to, I was asked to fill in for him. So uh, we did a bit to prepare the agenda. It seems pretty light. So uh, again, I'll, I'll cut and paste the agenda into chat. If you want to add anything or if you want to be prepared to uh, speak up on the floor, please do so now. But if you'd like to formally add something to the agenda, please do so at the bottom here, right below the uh, CFP check-in item. <clears throat> Otherwise, uh, we'll start to run the agenda now. All right, well, thank you everybody for joining the CubeVert weekly community meeting. Uh, for those of you who are new here, we'll ask you to call yourself out or, or at least uh, raise your hand. Um, in joining the, this community, we, we ask that you uh, add your organization to the adopters if you're actively using CubeVert, let's say in production. Uh, follow the social media accounts, uh, drive to the community page, and obviously follow the GitHub project. So with that, are there any new, member this, any new members this week who would like to introduce themselves and uh, explain a little bit about what they do and how they use CubeVert? If so, you can unmute or, or raise your hand or uh, join in the chat. All right, looks like we will move on. Well then, We'll start running the agenda now. Uh, the first thing Andrew asked me to check uh, was to take a look at the Qvert release schedule. We are now in September, and uh, I believe everything is open normally, but uh, it being the 20th, uh, everything is starting to bear down on beta zero for release 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, therefore, Everything's getting tagged under that. So just aware that's where the developers are and where your contributions should be or targeting towards uh, if, you're, if you're able to get into basically the, the beta uh, release train. I don't know much more about the release train policies. So if, if anybody has any questions, please do, because I am not the authority here. I'm just helping run the meeting today. But... Um, any questions on the schedule? We'll move on to the call for papers. All right. Andrew has updated the events page uh, on, on the community wiki uh, in GitHub. And basically we have a few new uh, we have a few new events coming up with open presentation submissions requests for calls for paper. Uh, at scale, KCD Oslo, and KubeCon EU next year in Paris. But uh, the main focus is that calls for papers and acceptances and the co-located vendor days and so on, all of those have closed for KubeCon North America in Chicago coming up in November. Uh, Andrew wanted to point out that we're going to have a CubeVert project meeting um, on November 6th. The room and the exact location are still in uh, yet to be determined. Uh, I believe we also, let's see who's going to be running this, this talk that's been accepted. Uh, we finally reviews, released CubeVert 1.0. 1.0, now what? So Fabian and Ryan will be driving that talk uh, in, as part of the main program. And the CubeVert, booth will be in the uh, project pavilion. Uh, so for all of you who are gonna be there, please stop by, please participate, please join us at the community meeting. I met a number of you last time in, in Amsterdam and that was nice. Uh, we talk about use cases, we talk about where the project is and ask me anything, etc. cetera. Um, I'm also happy to announce that I now actually, uh, as of yesterday, have a sandbox project from, from Kasten also. So I'm not sure we'll be in the project pavilion this, this go round, but later on our project will be there probably for the next KubeCon. All right, and then finally, uh, other conferences that have KubeCon, uh, excuse me, KubeVert sessions 
uh, SF, SCON and KubeCon China is coming up later, actually next week, this week. All right. So that is the events page. Uh, please let us know if you want to participate or have any ideas or know other areas where you would like to talk or, or contribute any spreading of the knowledge on Kubert. Because I haven't seen anybody uh, add anything into chat on, on the open floor or, or anything else for the agenda, we'll move on to the open floor area. And Miguel, I believe you've wanted to discuss IPAM. Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, so it's not so much as a discussion, but uh, let's say, uh, well, some notice, like we're starting to look at um, implementing the IPAM feature for vert workloads. So this basically means that, let's say you create a virtual machine, your network attachment definitions for the secondary networks can have the IPAM key configured. So you would define a subnet and all that. Uh, the CNI would get, give you an IP. Later on, you would get to migrate the IP, the, sorry, the, the virtual machine to a different node and the virtual machine would have the same IP address. Same thing would apply if you stop the virtual machine and then you start again later on, it would still have the same IP allocation. So we're, this is, essentially what we want to provide. And we are looking um, into how to provide this. So a few things about this, we're trying to make this, uh, let's say, CIGNI agnostic. So meaning we want to provide some sort of uh, specification in the multi-network de facto standard. So in the same place where basically the network attachment definitions and all that are defined, we want to provide um, push an update to that specification to provide this feature. And then the, well, let's say the interested uh, IPAM CNIs would be able to implement this feature according to this uh, standard. I'm aware I forgot to link the de facto standard update. I will link that now. Thank you. I was going and, to and yeah, so basically that's kind of like, it's a statement of intentions uh, so far. And uh, yeah, our reference implementation for Red Hat is going to be Oven Kubernetes. But again, uh, the idea is to come up with a spec and an API that any uh, IPAM CNI can use to implement this feature. So probably first thing I should do is uh, share the de facto standard update. And well, I will wait for the community's feedback there. What is the best way to give feedback? Is it uh, is this going to be a, a pull request or? or yeah, so email? this thing, <laughs> no. So the, let's say the ways of working on this community is a little bit different. So it's basically a shared Google document. And uh, I think I have opened access to everyone in the internet to actually comment in there. So I guess that's the way people can uh, provide feedback to it. Yeah, please add those links. Will do. Thank you. Thank you, Miguel. Uh, don't see any other questions or comments, so we will move on. Let's go take a look at uh, how things are going with pull requests that need attention. Uh, looks like one's already been merged, so <clears throat> let's just take a quick peek on, on this overall. And then I think uh, Andrew pulled out one for me to take a peek at. Oh, and it looks like Brian's already uh, reviewed this one. All right, let's just take a quick peek. Uh, hmm. Got 124 open. I don't think we're going to cover all of that today, but all right. Since the one that uh, Andrew kind of reviewed the, very early this morning has already been addressed, and this other one is also being addressed, that's good. I think we will move on. Uh, mailing list review. I don't think I've ever done this before. I mean, uh, I occasionally check in and I, of course, watch. Uh, 
everything that comes in through through mail uh, into a folder, but I don't recall anything specific here. Um, I would say the most interesting thing that I've seen um, since the last community meeting is that a number of CubeVert uh, sessions have come up, like SIG API, uh, SIG Next, and so on. So uh, I've participated in one of those, but uh, oh, definitely I mean, I uh, so take a look there and ask questions if you don't know what SIG API is and what the what the what who's there and what's going on. Um, certainly ask now. Uh, certainly ask in Kubert uh, Slack, etc. Uh, on the Kubernetes Slack. Let us know. But uh, I don't see anything too. Two out of the ordinary things to address here. Of course, if anybody has a different opinion, please let me know. All right, let's do a quick peek at the bug scrub. And we're we're moving through this agenda pretty quick. It's been pretty light. Now, in this regard, I don't know that we will actually address these here, but as always, um, call out to anybody who can help take care of these. Already some comments on these, actually, let's see. Yep, some people are ask, helping already on this one. And looks like I'm gonna, because these are assigned, looks like they're active. And I'm going to assume anything that's you know open last week is, is already in progress. And it looks like actually the scrub's in pretty good. Thank you, Daniel. All right, truth be told, I believe I've run the agenda. I'll just do one more kind of go around to see if anybody has any questions, comments, or concerns. Uh, please let us know by unmuting or, or adding to the agenda or uh, adding to the chat. All right then. All right, everybody, I'm gonna give you a whole bunch of time back in your day. Thank you very much for attending. Uh, tell Andrew I did an okay job, hopefully not a horrible job. And thank you, everybody. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you, Mark. Bye.